I want to clamp some on the unisender and the instructions uh, suggest starting out with uh, DDRT because you've got a little bit better control and it gives you a chance to get a feel for it so that's what I'm going to do uh, this is not my first time but this is what I'm going to do in fact I'm going to do some body thrusting because uh, I need the exercise so to start with I'm going to take the end of the rope you'd normally terminate on your harness and uh, terminate it in this top connector of the unisender <clears throat> I'm using a uh, bunt line hitch here very compact very secure easy to untie so that pretty much installs that by connecting to this top connector it makes the unisender auto advancing so if I pull down on this you can see it goes up so it's going to auto advance as I advance myself next step is to uh, install the clamping blocks onto the rope and that's just a matter of weaving it through and there we are installed the next thing to do is get the tether adjusted to your reach and uh, for body thrusting you'd want it uh, pretty high but if you get it too high of course you you can't reach the thing and if you can't reach it you can't come down let me talk about uh, the couple of ways recommended to descend on this thing actually one's recommended and one's very strongly discouraged one is to wrap the rope like this so you just pick it up clockwise and drop it over that and that gives you a very secure braking action on the unisender the other way is to grasp it here and here and when you do it releases but if it started to release too quickly and you panicked and squeezed instinctively you would just fall that much faster if you've got it this way and you panic and pull harder you just lock yourself off so this is the best way by far to do that the way I'll be using 